on my way to an echocardiogram to get like my heart sonogrammed. Um, the reason we're doing that is because um, I was supposed to have a, I can't think of a name, um, but like where they put a camera down your stomach to look inside there because of all my nausea and vomiting and stuff there. Um, thinking about it possibly be, being like gas, gastroparesis or maybe a, um, what do they call it? Like a scar in the top part of my stomach. Um, something like that. But we had to cancel it because my POTS was acting up really bad and my heart went up to 227, which is scary high. We ended up having to go to my GP. We didn't go to the emergency room, but we went to my GP and they did a um, EKG and the lady said it was a little bit more squiggly than normal. I don't know what that means, but she was a nurse and that's all she said. Um, I can't remember what the doctor said, but it obviously went good because they let us go home. Um, and so um, I got sent to a new cardiologist because my first cardiologist was an asshole. And um, so this cardiologist wants to do a sonogram of my heart. So that's what we're doing today. And I'll update you when I get there. Bye. We're here. Just parking. I'll update you when I get back out. Maybe inside. I don't know if they'll let me video in there. Probably not. My mommy pushing me. Say hello. Hello. Mm -hmm. It's bright as fuck out here. As you can see, when I get my own wheelchair, me and my mom's life will be so much easier because I'll have more independence. In the room now, that's the machine. They wanted me to wear this, but I think this would mess with my sensory issues, so I'm just gonna wear my jacket without a shirt on. So, yeah. So we're done. Just leaving and going home now. So we're on our way home now. Um, it took longer than I expected, but um, I guess I'll just update you when I get home instead of updating you in the car. Hey, I'm back from my um sonogram um it went well i guess it was a lot more painful than i was expecting um i have like this feeling like there's bruises all underneath my skin and so with her pressing on it all over me you know really hurt but what was the most painful is when she got like right under here you know where your rib cage rib cage is like it was red um and getting right in there you know just really it hurt like I just thought it was going to be uncomfortable you know because that's how most of my sonograms have been in the past but um I guess just this the area cuz I'm having like um rib cage pain and like pain between like that kind of like whole area between your rib cages, I guess. Like, I'm having really bad burning, deep pain there. And I was having it when she was pressing down on there. So having the pain that's already there plus the pain of her pressing into me just wasn't fun. And I was in an awkward position. And so my hip was hurting. And, like, I felt like I subluxed in there. Um which was not fun and I couldn't move because every time I moved then she couldn't see what she needed to see so then I had to roll back onto the leg that was hurting and there wasn't anything to support my back which I think there should be but maybe it gets in the way I don't know I guess most people don't have issues with rolling on their side but I did and so I'm my dog is tearing in something hold on So, um, I should find out what the, um, results were soon, and when I do, I'll let you know. Um, I do have an update a little bit on the wheelchair. My, um, grandmother 
grandmother walker actually has a wheelchair through her church that they're going to let me kind of keep until i find a wheelchair that um i can transport myself because this wheelchair is only going to be used to get me to my doctor's appointments like i'm not going to be able to go to walmart or anything with it unless my mom comes with me so i guess i could use it everywhere else but I can't be as independent with it because I can't, there probably will not be a, like a possibility of me being able to roll it into my mom's car because it won't fit in my car. And um, I will have a picture of the wheelchair pop up on the screen. So it is an electric wheelchair which is awesome and I'm very thankful that they're letting me keep it slash borrow it. Um, so, yeah, that means that uh, a lot of stress is kind of off my shoulders from that because, um, as you saw, hopefully, if it's good video, um, my mom was pushing me on my walker, which it's nice of her to do that, but I can't be independent and um, on it, so... I have two walkers actually. I have the black one that my mom pushes me on and then I have one that I use by myself on days that I can go out by myself. That one doesn't have wheels on the back of it and that's why she can't push me on it. But the reason it doesn't have wheels on it is because um, I couldn't like lock the back of, like I couldn't lock the wheels to keep me from sliding off of it when I needed to sit down quickly. Like I couldn't remember to do it and there wasn't enough time. So a lot of times I would be like about to faint and I'd sit on it and the thing would roll behind me and I'd faint anyway before I could sit down. I have had one problem with that with the walker I have now, but it's just because I missed the seat. Um, so, um, that was interesting. But, um, I don't know about anybody else, but for me, my pots acts up horribly in elevators. I guess it's like the pressure of going up and down, I guess, your blood, my autonomic nervous system can't regulate it very well during that, but it's awful. I absolutely hate going up the elevator. I used to climb the stairs when I could still, you know, climb the stairs, but now I can't do that because of how much pain I'm in and I'm fainting a lot more. So even though I got tired doing the stairs, I didn't feel as shitty going through the elevator. So now I don't really have a choice. But, um, I'm eager to hopefully get cleared for my little quote-unquote surgery thing. Um, I think it's called an endoscopy. I don't know. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'll have the word come up on the screen um but I'm pretty tired today um I didn't sleep well due to my legs and having to get up to go to the restroom um 20 times last night due to my IC so very tired so I'm probably going to um edit this video later I don't know when I'll edit it but I might take a nap or at least lay down for a little bit before I do anything. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you again later. Bye.